Gotcha. Matur Masaka family. Matur Masaka star Patrina. So, family time is yours for a question or a comment. And uh, apologies, took a lot of time, but that was necessary. So, time is given to you, family, for a comment or question. Madola, see your mic is open. I can't raise my hand, but I, I do want to make a comment. You know, when I came into this awakening, and even after I came in, I saw where Sister Sam, I believe, um, had put in a chat that, um, you know, um, she was very confused at one point. I was too. And my confusion came a lot because there was so many teachings flying around and it was like people were, some were denying Isaiah, some was, you know, then there was this thing where don't pray in the name of Isaiah and some were um, lowering his position by saying, he is just a prophet or he's just say, well, he's our brother. And, you know, there was all of this and it was, it was very, very confusing. And, you know, and I must say, and it caused, and, it, and I know even like, for instance, with my children, some of them are afraid to come close to these teachings because of all of this division. You know, here it is all your life, you've been taught the scripture, you know, um, and been led, and we've called, you know, on the Messiah and he's answered us and we've, um, he's, he's helped us. We've been blessed. And we've been delivered and through situations. And then all of a sudden we come into this awakening and it's like, oh, no, 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 no. Don't, you know, don't, don't pray like that. Pray like this. You know, don't acknowledge Isaiah, just acknowledge um, Tatan Zombie. And the, the teachings were so conflicting, and it did. It has pushed people away, and people really don't know what to do. Some, I know people right now, young people, in that they don't, they're not doing anything. They're not going to church. I'm not saying they could, should go to somebody's church. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is they're not being fed at all because they don't know what to do. They went out of their church. They came onto different platforms of Zoom trying to learn. And that became such a point of contention and confusion. They just backed away and now they, they're just drifting. And it's because of some of this teaching that has been out here. So Vanika, I just want to, Thank Tatan Zambi um, for allowing you to bring this message forward. I really do. I, I, um, I am grateful for having heard this message today. And it, it cleared up a lot of confusion for me. So, Matanda Masaka. 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 Zambia Bungu is shooting his arrow against Izolele. Not to harm Izolele, but to harm Kajampemba, who inflicted, who, you know, insert himself also within Izolele. He's shooting the arrow toward Izolele. Not to harm Izolele, 
but to harm a Kadian Pemba that is there. But unfortunately, if Kadian Pemba is inside of a person, if Nzambi shoot the flesh, <laughs> what will have will happen? Kadian Pemba and the body is using both. Will be shot by the arrow. Atondo Masaka Momazola for your comment. Atondo, but Atray, I see your hand. Yes, Danny Tomley. So, and I follow what Sister was saying, uh, Shelly. Uh, I apologize. Um, you know, when I went to Africa and that the zombie revealed to me the reason why I was on that trip. And of course, when I came back, he made a lot of things even more clear. Those who were actually creating, even from there, was to understand the fact that it's easy for us to forget one important thing when Kuswa Congo was here and why so many of us have been able to have Shaitani to lead us into confusion, especially the kingdom of Kong. Because unfortunately, there are many who have decided that they are replacing Kuswa Kong. Okay? And because of that, it causes you to be in the same position where Adama was when he broke the Tanzambi's law. And in the suffering and the confusion when he was listening to the snake after he fell. And people forget the, the purpose. Okay? That's why when I did my video on this in Don Zambi, that that is the purpose. Kuso Konga came to fix what Adama broke. And that's why he bared all of the iniquities and the sins and all of the suffering that was caused through you being what Adama did. And so when you reject Kuswa Kongo, when you reject Isaiah, Isaiah, you go back to being in the same position like Adama was. And so sadly, what people have not learned is this is exactly where the Kadi and Pemba and the Mundeli have been led astray by their gods to not recognize the salvation like Kuso Kongo said comes through the Aunde. So if you don't even know who, if you're going to sit there and say that Esau, Edom who, and these Khazars are the Jews then you are no different than Adama who's in confusion because they are not the people. They are in confusion as well. And this is why when we went against the Mosai and chose the assembly of Laodicea, who's also in confusion with the mixed spirits, that's what caused our problem. Once again, all of the things that Kuswa Konga was meant to carry for us came back on us. And that's why we lost that salt. When he said, when the salt loses its flavor, what is it good for but to be trampled underfoot? So when the Bena Congo decided to go with that white image, and accept the, the Catholic doctrine and all the other doctrines that were out there, like Islam and whatnot, then we got trodden underfoot. And as long as we reject Kuswa Kongo and the, what he came to do in the name of the Father, okay, then we stay trodden underfoot and our salt is no longer valid. And that's why we find ourselves confused now. And the confusion lies in being in the one spirit of Congo, which is why Tatan Zambi says, when we're in one spirit of Congo and united in one accord, nobody can touch us. Nobody can defeat us. Nobody can do anything to us. And this is what was needed, okay, when Kadi Pemba came into the kingdom of Congo to use Satan's lying signs and wonders to make us fall. So then now back in the land, as we're coming back to Tatanzambi, those type of things are still there. And if you don't pay attention, 
you go back into the pit. You go back with the blindness. You go back with the strong delusion. You go back with all the deception when you forget the reason why Kusa Congo came in the first place, to restore the temple. That's why he called himself the temple. He said, I am the unborn zombie. I will destroy myself in three days and raise myself back up. And they looked at him like, are you crazy? What are you talking about? Because it wasn't about the building. It was about the body. And that's what, that's what, that's what Adama forgot when he accepted the, the deception of the snake. And that's why Hanak and all the others who preceded him were coming to teach us. It's never been about the building. It's never been about, uh, you know, the, the, the way people perceive things. It's always about the way, the way of the Most High. That's why we say we're Abantu Benguela, people of the way. That's why we ask ourselves, CME, are you in the way? Okay? If you're not in the way, then you, whose way are you in? Shaitani. Because there can only be one, two, one or two ways. Either the Most High's way or Shaitani's way. There's no in-between. And now people are looking for the in-between way, the other way. Listening to people saying, oh, yeah. Um, Kuswa Congo, oh, he's not the door. There's got to be another way. You know, and that's what these deceivers are doing. And that's why he had to say, I am the good shepherd. Mm -hmm. Because he knew there were many bad shepherds out there giving you another way. Okay? And that's the reason why when, when he, he knew, when we stopped being Ben Congo, we were now no longer with the good shepherd. We were now in the, in the wolves and the sheep, wolves with the sheep stand. We were being led to the wolves. And that's why when Jeremiah uh, 50, verse 6 says, many false shepherds led my sheep astray. And it's still happening. And that's why we must always, like you said, and, and when we talk about listening to voices, what voice are we listening to? And that's why, the, like we talked about the elders judging, the elders will also bring against you when you replace Kuswa Congo with somebody who's claiming to be him. And this is what we didn't understand. We replaced, we don't even know what we have done. Even now in this awakening, we have replaced Kuswa Congo and we don't even know it. And that is why the warning was given by Kimbangu and Toko when they came. I, we didn't come to replace Kuswa Congo. We came to finish, to help him bring our people into the truth. And many people even now have forgotten that that's what these prophets came to do. And even ourselves, we are, see, we forget. We are supposed to be like Kuswa Congo so we can do what he did and more. So there should be many Kuswa Congos running around this whole earth right now changing the world. But we are not him. But we are looking up to him and his teaching, just like Tatan Zambi sent him to do. And that's where. So many people are getting confused now, and so many people have been delusional because we have to understand that was the purpose of him being here, is to bring the kingdom of Congo to the world so they could see it. But what did we do? We got led astray, and that's why we're in our captivity. And now the purpose of coming back is to restore the Enzoan zombie with Kuswa Congo the way he was chosen to do of what Adama did. Okay, and get that. Tanamasanga King Trey, Matanamasaka, Matanamasaka. Hallelujah. I see uh, my mama Sonama, was it Sunder? I see, I don't know <laughs> who's in <ends> that. It's <laughs> I. Uh, something uh, scripture went through my mind because uh, along with our walk of um, in this awakening um, for 400 years, over 400 years we've been um, following the scriptures and we've been thinking that we have it all together that we knew it all but upon the awakening Tata and Zambi revealed to us that what we was being taught was not the full truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And so the scripture came to mind at Amos chapter 8, verse 11, where he said, Behold, the days come, 
said Tata and Zombie, that I would send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the word of the Tata and Zombie, the Elimo. So the famine is going on now because we are searching to and fro, trying to get the truth, trying to decipher what's lies, the lies from the truth. Uh, from the truth, what's truth, what's lies. So because of the famine, for the word of, of the Elimo, we're searching. And Tata and Zami, this is where we have to um, gain a personal relationship with him because he can't be held to a book. The book is important because there is truth in it. But we can't hold him to a book because before there was a book, there was him. And so we have to build a relationship with him so that he can download in us and fill us with his Moana Villa law, which will reveal truth to us because he had he is the uh, ancient of days and has sake in the sacred secrets uh, uh, within him or uh, with him. So the sacred secrets that has been hidden from us, he reveals to us. So when something comes to us, in a night vision and it's different from what we've ever heard or read but it comes from him and we know it's from him and then you have to reveal it to your to our brother to ye so that's where the bread from the most high comes in there's the spiritual bread uh to quench that thirst and to uh, feed that hunger, that famine, to uh, bring you out of the famine. But uh, we have to be willing to uh, take in knowledge, uh, not kick it aside, not uh, reject it. Because, um, like I say, uh, Tata and Zombie can't be held in the book and he reveals things to those that uh, have a relationship with him. Uh, but um, yeah, that's what this scripture came to mind where he says that we're going to go into a famine. And so in this famine, so why would you be going into a famine if you've been had the book in front of you all your life? You shouldn't be in a famine and you read that book every single day, but yet you don't have all the answers. It's because now through the awakening, you awakening up to the facts that everything in it is not accurate, you know. And that the Pharisees and the Sadducees put things in the book and changed things. Uh, the Greeks changed things. Romans changed things. So uh, that's where we have got to pray incessantly and build our close relationship with Tata and Zama. When we build that close relationship with him, he's going to reveal things to us that... Uh, the next person won't get it and won't understand. Beyond all means, they will not get it and will not understand. And it's not for everybody to understand. Unfortunately, it's just not meant for everybody to understand it. And so, uh, but he will, if you build a relationship with him, he will reveal these truths to, to you or to us. Um, but yeah, uh, these are the days that we're in where there is a famine and you're coming out of the churches finding out that the ch uh, there are so many lies with the church that's pushing uh, tithing and different types of things and that the, t uh, the commandments is done away with. All these things that they are uh, teaching, now you're finding out that these are lies, you know, and so... Uh, and Tata and Zambia is opening our eyes to these things. He brought us out of that. He said, come out from among them so you won't have to share in their play. They're going to pay for the false teaching that they're teaching. But uh, we're supposed to, uh, we came out of them and, and out of the churches because Tata and Zambia wants us to build a relationship with him so that we can learn the truth. And now that we're finding out the lies, he's showing us what really is the truth.
Oh, and about the uh, our subject today is very profound. The subject today is very profound. Going back into to the Old Testament and seeing that uh, the scripture was talking about uh, Isaiah Congo even before he stepped foot on the land is profound. So yeah, uh, I greatly appreciated the uh, lesson today. It's so profound, and very much needed. And I also have something to say about this as well. And yes, the teaching is very profound today. And this is something that Isolele Isole needs to learn as well. And just like Matuzola said, everyone before coming in this, into this awakening was confused by all the many different teachings that were being presented in front of us. Now that Tatan Zamari revealed to us that in the Old Testament, that it talks about Isaiah Congo before he stepped step foot into the land. It's just so powerful to see. And I don't know if Brother Benika, um, um, I found that I see the scripture that Masanama always quotes. And I think this might correlate with Enoch 61, verse 10, where it says, All the princes and the kings will. Worship um, Isaiah Congo and bow down to him on their faces. Um, this is from Isaiah 45, verse 23. I have sworn by myself, the word has gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return. The unto me, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall swear. So I found the scripture because Musanama, she quotes it a lot. And it does, and it does, and to me, it does cor correlate with the word that Enoch was saying and the prophecy that Enoch was saying. And it probably does correlate with all the other prophecies and all the other words that David was saying, Isaiah, Micah, Malachi were saying. So I just found the scripture to, to connect and have a link with all the other scriptures that talk about Isaiah Congo and how he's going to make all the kings and the princes of the earth bow down to him and worship him on, worship him on their faces. So that's why I have to say for today, Mutono Masaki, Brother Venika, for letting Tadan Zambi and Isaiah Kongo and the one Nabelala to use you to preach this message to us because we definitely need it. And it is a wonderful blessing. In Geta. Hallelujah. Yala. Yala. Yeah. Family. I'm being honest, right? Yeah. You know, I'm being honest. When I awaken and when I had, had the opportunity to know all of you, my brothers and sisters, you know, diaspora, this is what the Spirit told me, right? This is what I saw and this is what I heard. You are full of wisdom, you. Our brothers and sisters in diaspora are full of wisdom. The word you speak is full of wisdom. You are very spiritual people and full of wisdom. Your body is very sensitive to the spirit, very sensitive. That's why Kajan Pembe is fighting also to try to deceive, you see? That's how it works. When you are a very sensitive person, when you are a very spiritual person, there is more tendency the, or the possibility for Kajabemba to try to fight and deceive you is very high. This is what I saw. And today, by listening to your comment, that is more than wonderful. <laughs> Starting from, you know, everything you said, I'm telling you. The moment you open your mouth, the moment you speak something, this is wisdom. This is wisdom. This is wisdom. And Kajapemba knows how powerful you are. Kajapemba only fight a soldier. You know, honestly speaking, a soldier only attacks another soldier. He doesn't attack civilian according to the rules of war. Civilian don't attack, but soldier, yes. Kadim Pemba knows that you are military. 
He knows. That's why you're trying to find a way. But I pray to Tanzambe, because you have Bongola Meso, open your eyes. And you are walking full of knowledge and in the spirit above all. That's what I would like to add and to tell about you. And today I saw another confirmation on what you spoke. Full of wisdom. I am in the land, but that's the difference I see. I'm not despising my brothers from the land. Don't get me wrong. I am not. But I see a difference. I don't know, maybe that's because of the confirmism. They get they got too comfortable. I don't know. Maybe, but I'm not sure. But that's what I see. And my brothers in the land, my brothers in the diaspora, I see this difference. Wisdom and spirit. This is what I see. That's what I like to, that's what I like to add. About you. Well, if you believe, I'll be glad, but that's the truth. Maternal <laughs> Masak family for your comment. Uh, Mama, Mama Margaret, I see your hand. I want to say thanks for that message today. But one of the things that stood out when you were speaking is like, okay, that is true. The awakening is, is like a market. It's a market. But we, we must choose wisely. We have to choose wisely. Don't follow names and just judge, uh, judge the messages that they're bringing. Yes, this is really a market now. This awakening is a marketplace. Everybody <laughs> comes with something. To deceive and you have to be so careful don't follow after names so i want to say thank you again but turn to masaka for this message and bless it oh <laughs> hallelujah i turn to masaka for that for my margaret that's another thing to remember when you go to the market you just don't take it no you go with the plane you know last time we went to shop with mama Sanama, she she took a list with her and the things she wants and she needs, whatever she doesn't need, she didn't buy. She didn't buy. She only bought what she needed. That's all. That's I was right. like, "Mama, take it." No, Benika, I don't need this. What about that? I don't need that. This, I don't need that. I came to the shop to buy, you know, pump, pumpkin seed. <laughs> 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 to buy this. What about feet? You know. Meat, no, I am a vegan. I don't eat meat. What about chicken? I don't eat chicken. Maybe for you, but not for me. I was like, wow. And sometimes she would buy, you know, this meat, and sometimes it's like, mom, no. We are vegan, mom, no. I was like, ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, family. I love that. That is what Mama Margaret was saying, you know. Let's pick the right thing you came to buy at all. Mm -hmm. You don't need it. You don't need it. And stand up strong. Yeah. <laughs> Maternal Masaka. Mm -hmm. Any more comment, family? Because we are running out of time. Michelle, you see your face. Just smiling. <laughs> I just wanted to say that I like the African proverb. If you see the beak, you see the whole chicken. And that is very important. When we see Kuswa Congo, we've seen the father. Mm. So let us not look all around at the other things. I yes, it's been being impressed upon me recently quite often. Be careful of the deception because the deception is not going to come blatantly and you see it clearly. Oh, yes, that's the deception. It's going to come mm. subtly. So you're going to see some truth in it, but the lie in it, the lie in it is going to be small, but it's there to catch you. So be careful. Be careful because we have to remember when we see that beak, we see the chicken. When we see, and I like what you said, Tony Benika, when you said, if they don't respect Kusu Congo, they don't respect Tatanzani. That's right. Mm -hmm. 
if we cannot receive what Tanzambi has sent for us, we can't receive him. So be careful, let's be careful. Masaka for that comment. And when you spoke, you know, a scripture was downloaded. That is the book of, I'm not going to remember scriptures, you know, but I like to quote the principle. You know, I think it's Matthew. Is when Isaiah, the Philip, Philip asked, you know, Lord, you know, show us the Father. And he was like, wait a minute, Philip. Does anybody remember the answer? Because I gave. Somebody I think it's in me. Yes. You see the Father. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. What did you see? If you see me, you see the Father. I think that's what you said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been with you, you know, all this time, and you, you still, you know. I mean, can anybody search that scripture? Is Matthew? Uh, is Matthew? I think it's um, John fourteen. I think it's in John oh. fourteen. <laughs> oh, what is all the library? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. It's in John. Let me look. I think it's in John fourteen, verse verse Can you read Mozilla? Yeah. Isaiah answered, do you not know me, Philip? Even after, well, verse 8 says, Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Isaiah answered, don't you know me, Philip, even after I have been among you such a long time? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Mm -hmm. Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. Anyone who has seen the big has seen the chicken. <laughs> that's why we are the people from the Bible, you know? <laughs> because that's why we are the same people. They can lie to us and say we are, gen you know, we are pagan, you know, we didn't know the word. No, we will demonstrate who we are by our culture. That's a proverb in Kikongo, you know, that is in line with the scripture, the New Testament also. That's another reason we believe the New Testament, because it is in line also with our culture. The man is good. The man of Allah guide us in every truth. Matondo Masaka for that. Moshele, thank you. You know, another another one. That's why I'm telling you, you are full of wisdom. You know, everything you say. As wisdom, two stick coming together. <laughs> so, family, no question on your side, no comment. If there's nothing, we will end our session. Though it is amazing. Yeah, I see. Sister Kese, it's the same. Sister Elba, your camera is off. Mama Royal, Bernantang. Can we see you and say bye 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 bye? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that tongue is there. Yeah, Sister Kiesa, are you there? My royal Sister Sam, Sister Elber. We have to say bye bye before we go. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, oh nice to see you. You guys look beautiful. Why are you hiding yourself? <laughs> oh, look at you. Look at you. Hey, Sister Sam. Hey, Mama Royal. Sister Elber. Sister Kiss. How are you today? Very good. Awesome. Uh, amazing. 
Amazing. No question on your side. Mr. Sam, you wrote something with the comment. I would like to comment that. Yeah, I was just saying that. Um, yeah, there was a moment where I was very confused, as Mama Matizola said. Um, I didn't, I wasn't sure what to do. Um, I kept on changing the method of how I was praying, who I was addressing. Um, and then I just remember like in the beginning of this year, it was something that was, it was really bothering me a lot that how, how is it that, um, you know, I've, I've been so blessed to be in this awakening and yet I'm so confused on who I should be addressing. Um, it's like the fun, my foundation, I, I, I was thinking like, how is it my foundation is not, is not firm? Why am I confused by this in this area specifically? And I remember I was talking to you, Brother Benika about it and even Brother Tasamba and to my sister. Um, and there are moments in my prayer where I just, uh, I think like personally for me, I just kind of grieved and I really had to repent to Tatan Zambi out of like uh, a lack of discernment or lack of knowledge. I Like there's a lot of things I don't know, but um, with that, I wanted to be sure. And even now, sometimes I kind of question, I, I kind of doubt sometimes. Um, I feel like I'm prone to there's so much there's so much knowledge there and i um and i want to be a good student and i want to learn um but with that i know i need to pray for discernment so both coming hand in hand i think uh day by day that in zambia is kind of helping us helping me to kind of get more confirmation and more understanding in in that way but yeah uh there was definitely a point where I completely just like did not even mention Kuswa Congo or Yesaya Congo in my prayers. Um, I was very hesitant of it because I thought it was insulting to Tatan Zambi to mention him. And then, yeah, it was just like that whole situation. But um, yeah, Matando for this. Teaching, I thank you for allowing Tatan Zambi to use you, Brother Benika. Um, I've been blessed by it. Ngeta. You're not alone with that one, Sam. We all was battling with, with that once we came out of the churches. And when we found out that, oh, his name was uh, Cesar Borget and learning that, the, uh, that they painted the likeness of uh, Michelangelo's uh, was nephew, son, whatever he was, you know, finding out all this stuff, it it was like, okay, well, do we call? And we know his name, Isaiah Congo, but do we call on him? Do we put him before Tata and Zombie? You know, but and so it it was it is a battle trying to decipher. Okay, so how are we supposed to look at it now? Now that we know that. That's not him, and that's not the picture we're supposed to envision in our mind when we call on you, Saya Congo. So, yeah, uh, I get where you're coming from. I definitely do. Mm -hmm. But discernment, exactly what you say is praying for discernment. And, and Tata and Zombie is who will who will give us the discernment of how to, uh, you know, the truth and how uh, we are supposed to uh accept the truth and once he downloaded into our you know into us we will know what to do with the information that he downloads into us but uh we're going he's feeding us we're in fat now we're in a time of famine but he is feeding us he is feeding us from this uh spiritual bread of, from heaven he's feeling uh, feeding us with the spiritual bread that we need at this time where else uh, those that are still asleep are, are denying uh, uh, the truth as it's being revealed to them. They're denying it. So they're still in a famine. But 
upon this awakening, he's feeding us. But he feed us when we draw close to him and build a relationship to him. So he's dis giving us discernment of what's true and what's not. And so we're not so well like Brother Benica say that we can't throw the Bible out. Don't throw it out. But allow Tata and Zombie to reveal to us what is accurate and what's not. And you're not alone with that, with, with your feeling. You're definitely not alone. Mm -hmm. Get the matando. Mm -hmm. Brother Masaka, that's a lot of wisdom I'm feeding you. Know, now you're feeding me. <laughs> <laughs> I like when you all speak, you know. The word is organized, well addressed. Uh, yeah. And I learn a lot to hear from you. That's why we, nobody comments. I'm like, nobody's commenting. Well, I will not learn nothing today. But I like to hear from you. Matun Masak is the same. Mama Matuzol, Mama Masana, Mama Tun Masak once again for those words. And I see Mama Royal. Mama Royal, that's another one, you know, powerful. <laughs> She posted something dangerous in the, in the chat. Mama, Mama Royal, can you can you say what you just wrote? That's powerful. Yeah, uh, I said Isaiah is our high uh, high priest. So in the olden days, when when the Levitical priesthood was in still uh, operational. They went to the high priest, you know, they, people took all their sacrifices. Everything had to go through the high priest to so go through the temple, through the high priest and the high priest would take it into the, the, um, in a temple, the holiest of holies. And so it's the same thing. Isaiah just re replaced the Levitical priesthood. So we still have to go through him because he is our intercessor. So, um, you know, a lot of people get confused, but he said he is the door, he is the way, he is our high priest, just like we went to the high priest in the temple, and he would take our sacrifices into the holiest of holies. Isaiah has taken that place now. So we still have to go through him. Wow. Oh, family. I told you, you are full of Hallelujah. wisdom. That's right. <laughs> yes. Huh? Agree. Completely. Yes, that is it. Um, yes. I'm hearing that people are, like, my family is saying that they were um, confused. So when we came, when I came out of the church, um, then I start learning that we are the people and then we end up in the Eber Israelite, mm. Eber Israelite uh, uh, worshiping and calling. So we, I, I never lose uh, calling. Um, Isaiah Congo was always been there because I understood the way, the door, the priest, and everything. But when I was in the um, following from YouTube. Uh, uh, the Hebrew Israelite used to call him another name. So that name still continue, although um, from, from the Christianity uh, with the European, uh, the European uh, well, Jesus, and then understand that we are the people, then it was Isai, then it was um, Yehoshua, you know, and then over now to, to the Bantu awakening as Isaiah Kuswa Congo. So I never lose that part of it. And, I, and it always felt right with me. You have uh, Kuswa Congo, you have the Holy Spirit, and you have Tatanzame, in which other way you, you want to put it. But I always knew that you have to go through him. And I think if uh, we can go back every time when I'm praying on the and the Zoom on the Thursday, I always use his name. I always say Kuswa Congo, Kuswa Congo, but always Isaiah Congo. So, um, so the confusing is that the part um, that um, that my family having, I you know, I thank Benita for this teaching that it helped them to clear up because it's very essential that we get this right. 
because we have to go through him. We have to respect him. It's, it's a respect. We have to respect him for who he is and what he has done. And we can't go any farther if we don't put him in his rightful place. So um, thank you very much. That's what I just wanted to say. <laughs> Is that you, Samatrina? Pardon me? Is that you? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Samatrina doesn't talk, but oh. the way she's talking, I can't believe that that's in person. You know? Ah, uh, Matana Masaka. <laughs> I'm very glad and happy to listen from you. Maroyal, is your hand up? Right, see. Yeah, I wanted to say something else too. Um, in Daniel, I think it was 927, it says that he shall confirm the, co the, the covenant for one week and in the midst of the week, he shall cause all sacrifice and oblation to cease. So Isaiah was the one that showed the sign of the covenant. The sign of the covenant was uh, the same covenant that was made with Melchizedek. Back then, Abraham gave him the, uh, um, he gave Abraham the, the, uh, the bread and the wine. And that was the sign that this is the one. So when Isaiah came, he showed the sign of the covenant. He broke bread with his with his disciples and the wine. And he, he said to them, I am taking the place. And he said, I, it says he will cause all sacrifice and oblation to cease. So in other words, he was taken over from the Levitical priesthood. So when John the Baptist baptized him, John the Baptist was a Levitical priest. So he passed on the priesthood to Isaiah. And Isaiah came ma mainly about us because he's a king of kings and we are, we, we, he's a king and priest and we are kings and priests. So he, is, he ascended and he is saying that my behavior, my character, I came to show you how to ascend. So everything I do, if you do the same, you will ascend. So that's why Isaiah took his time. Imagine when uh, they came to uh, arrest him and he, <laughs> when they said to him, are you, the, are you the woman? He spoke that I am. So much power came out that everybody fell back. But when Peter cut off the disciple, um, the soldier's ear, Isaiah put it back on. Now he would have been right if he would have fought because they were coming to arrest him for no reason. But he showed so much character. He showed that he was, that's why he says, you see the father in me because I carry his character. And this is why I'm ascending. I adopted the character of the father. So now this is what I want you to do because like me, you all are going to be kings and priests. So I'm going to be your leader. So I'm showing you how I want it done. So what he was saying to us was to adopt his character, to be like him in order for us to ascend. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's a, that's a reign of, of, of wisdom. It's a blessing of words. That was really powerful. You know, that was really, really, really powerful. What Omar Royal said. <laughs> Kings and queens, we rise. <laughs> Matano Masaka, Ama Royal, Matano Masaka. That's a word full of wisdom. And those words are coming from above, eh? That is the truth. 
That is the truth. That's the truth. So now is the time for us to defend family, what we believe. Defend it. Defend it. Protect what you have. One of the like to say, protect what you have. Yeah, protect what you have. And as you can, share the message with somebody who needs this message. Share the message. Matono Masaka family. So anybody else has a, has a comment? Um, Matono brother Benika. For the teaching. Uh, basically, we need to uh, develop, you know, a life of prayer. We need to pray. We need to pray. We need to pray. We need to pray. Uh, the darkness is, you know, many, many, many will be led astray because of this truth. So we need to pray. We need to pray. We need to pray. Many will be led astray. Many will be led astray. Many will be led astray. You know, the darkness is very powerful and people don't realize it. And once it, once it catches you, if the Tanzani doesn't have mercy on you, it's going to be difficult for you to be delivered. You know, I would like to read a scripture, you know, Ephesians 6, 2. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Those spirits are powerful, very, very powerful. And, uh, you know, as you said, uh, Brother Benica, you know, our, our brothers, when they come to Africa, you know, they don't realize and uh, I, I, I shared with you, Brother Benika, I think we were together, you know, and Wanda said, you need to pray. Because where they go, when you visit the land, where you go, you need to pray. Because not every place is holy. You may enter because you don't know, but you're catching spirits. And those spirits, attack you, attack your family, attack your life. That is why you need to pray, develop a life of prayer. Prayer, 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 prayer is your protection. Prayer is your protection. That's all I want to say. Matondo. <laughs> Le vouvement. Yala. Yala. Listen to your brother. Let us listen to our brother and understand what he said also. The spirit of wisdom is present. It is using each and every one of you, each and every one of us, to speak a word of wisdom. That is how it is supposed to be, the body. You know, where everybody is important, where everybody has a role. Everything that is being spoken is a word of wisdom to family. And what our brother said is very important. That's why we say people are not aware what they are touching. They are touching dangerous stuff. The moment you touch, you activate. And when you activate, that thing will follow you. Let me tell you something, you know, again, don't, don't, don't misunderstand me, right? I'm not against our ancestors. I'm not against them. That's what I said, you know, we, we respect, we honor our fathers and stuff. But remember, in the land where we are, used to belong to the Canaanite. Even right now, we are mixed. We don't know who is who. 
the Canaanites, they have their culture. We have our own culture. But we are mixed now. We don't know who is who. The Canaanites are very powerful when it's come to tradition. Tradition, very powerful. And this thing that they call ancestral spirit, I'm not speaking about the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is one. Ancestral spirit is one also. And demonic spirit is one also. Three kingdom. Three kingdom. And ancestral spirit, get me well when I'm speaking ancestral spirit, right? I'm not speak about the righteous ancestors, right? No. You talk about the ancestral spirit. We don't touch. We don't align yourself with that. That is a kingdom in which when you touch, when you get in contact with that kingdom that will follow you, that follows. And people from your lineage, including the wicked one, those who were wicked. Imagine, my, last example. My grandfather was a wicked. He's dead now. Imagine if I go to the cemetery and I invoke his spirit to come. What is going to happen with me? He was a wicked. And not just his spirit that will come. The other, you know, the great, 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 great grandfather, all of them will awake. And will chase us. We don't go into detail, but we tell your family. You know, many things are happening. And above all, when people come in the land and visit this, some places that you may you may be thinking, no, that is just a traditional chief or traditional, you know, lady who understand herbs, this and that. But what we say is be careful. Before you can make any movement, prepare yourself, fast, pray, but don't do anything you are not aware or you, you are not sure. And people will say, you know, you will sometimes will visit this place and they will think that you are stupid sometimes. Forgive me to say that, you know, that is what the, in the mind of the people. So they think, oh, they are, they are, come from, they are coming from West, you know, they don't understand anything, but you do understand stuff. And sometimes they can force you to drink these things or to drink that, to eat this leaf or to eat that. But the moment you leave, you eat or you drink, you activate. And sometimes because of ignorance, we just drink it because that's our culture. The wicked spirit is no love for their neighbor. No. <laughs> He's just concerned with money and deceiving people, that's all. But well, <laughs> we don't gonna we don't gonna we don't, we don't want to scare you, but that's a warning family. Yeah, just to get to know what brother and Pata say. Yes. We have so we saw a lot. That's that's all we can tell you. We saw a lot. Yes, Matono Masaka, dear family. Uh, Pastor Patrina, do you want to say something? Yeah, well, I'm hinting to to speak about uh, my time in Africa when um, we didn't left uh, to go and what we have been through. You know, well, let me go back before before we leave. You know, we were in a group and were praying for nine months to go, but um, without realizing even that we were being initiated, we had, each one of us had dreams that something wasn't right, but we didn't know what it was. And, you know, when I confirmed them about my dream, um, I, don't know, I don't think I should go into the, what the dream was, um, they were like, you know, well, then you should not go. But in my head, it was like, Tata told me that I have to do something. I know from since 2017, what Tata told me that what I have to do for his people. So I was just going along with what Tata told me that what I have to do 
for um, his people with not realizing that was not the time for me to leave and that was not the group for me to be in at that moment when we were leaving. But while we were there, there was a lot of um, the people that who took us, they were not in the right way. They had other entities they were doing with other gods, you know, and we were looking at it really. And my kids, they were like, mm -mm, mom, this is not right, you know, and like the, the night we reached there, my kids would say, mom, this is not right. I was like, no, we just came, you know, we just reached, just let's wait and see, you know. And then we heard that there were other incidents that, you know, people was kidnapped in the group, but they didn't, they did not tell us that before we reach. My battery is getting low. So um, there's a there's a lot of uh, deceit is going on, and we really have to watch, pray, like my brother say, and really ask Tata, you know, listen to to his his leading than just knowing what 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 you what he told you to do you know and not asking him when is the time when is the moment with whom because i never asked him with who should i be doing this way what he told me to do all i know he told me that i must go to the land and prepare this place for his people that is coming in but i never know with who i thought was was with, with my husband but that didn't work right so I say, okay, I find this group and these people that are in the awakening, uh, they have the same vision, we're going. So that's what happened to us. And, you know, eight months over there and a lot of things that happened, but by the grace, Tata did protected me and my kids and we came back safely. And, you know, but it, it, it was a lot without knowing, you know, like my brother said, we're praying I fast like for a month. I fast for a month. And I did lose a lot of weight, but that fast did help me and the kids. Or uh, one day I just pray like that for, for monitoring spirits. And you know, that morning and I we went out, came back, and I opened the the, the back door that was on the veranda, and there was a dead bird like fly into the door, you know. And I was like, oh my goodness, what happened? You know, but I understood about, you know, about that. So it's really, <laughs> we have to know where we put in our foot. But by the grace, we were protected. The father had his hands up on us because we were like five. I have four girls and myself, you know, it's five women, you know, and anything could have happened to us because there was a time we were by ourselves, you know, so, um, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sister Patrina, thank you very much. Zambian Pungu has set you free and you, you can fly now higher, like an eagle. Oh, you, know? yeah. you can fly. As we said, we love our culture, we love our continent, but we got mixed. We don't know who is who, so we, you know, careful is very important. We should be careful on how above all to align ourselves with. Above all, not do anything that you are not sure. You know, because the spirit lives within you, and when something is not in line, I'm not saying emotion and the spirit are different. Emotion and spirit are different. Emotion is emotion. Spirit is a spirit. Sometimes your emotion will tell you do this, but you will feel something deep and say, mm. we will feel something like he's looking at you and say, come on, really? You know, when you feel that, don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> Ma Margaret, I see your hands once again. Oh, I was, as I was listening to Sister Petrina, and she spoke about her kids the morning. No, something wasn't right. Something was not sitting right there. So this, and Psalms 8, uh, verses 2, out of the mouth of babes and suckling has thou ordained strength because of thy enemy, that thou might still the enemy of the avenger. 
So that is what I wanted to share with her. Because, you know, she does like, oh, no, you know, but they, they were sensing that they were more strong in the kids, you know? Yes, yes, yes. At that time, sister, I already sold everything, my house and everything. I was oh. like, hmm, well, you know. So. <laughs> you know, that's just missing their word. No, no, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> that's another confirmation children are very spiritual people very spiritual people very sometimes what they see it is true yes that is true that is so true Zambi you as children have you seen that sometimes you know you will uh, give your baby to somebody but the baby is just crying yeah Yes, oh. yes, that is true. I had experience with that so many times. Child yes, crow crows in the eyes, like, what it is you see? What it is you not seeing in that person? Don't want to go on this cringing themselves. They're like, okay, something is wrong with you. Okay. <laughs> yes, I experience with that. Yeah. So, Matanuma but we're not saying this for you to be afraid of the continent. No. The land is bad, you know. No, I'm, we're not saying this, right? The land is, is fine. It is like the wall there. There is good and bad everywhere. Everywhere. But because this is your land, don't just come like, you know, yes, you know. No. Go yeah. just the same way you walk out there and the same way you should walk also in this in this, this side. You know, careful. And watch out. Market. Yeah, sister Sam, is your hand? Yeah, I just wanted to um, share a testimony that I recently experienced that really um, I felt like placed my faith, made my faith stronger. And it was an experience both about the reality of you know, spiritual wickedness in high places and also just how quickly Tatan Zambi answers prayers. Um, and I had a, re- a very recent experience where there, uh, there was a pres- presence of a dark entity or a dark spirit in my house mate, where um, I felt it surround me and uh it was like i was in a vacuum i couldn't uh I, I i could hear but it was like my hearing was dimmed all my senses were dimmed and i could just feel the darkness surround me um and in that moment i prayed you know for tatan zambi to send charge to the malikis to come and help me and protect me in that moment um, and this was happening in the evening and I, I prayed and even in that, it, even in prayer, I didn't, I realized just, I, I could only gain strength when I connected to Tatan Zambi in that way. Um, asking for him to give me strength in that moment because my flesh failed me in every single way. Um, and basically the next day and I was on my way to work, um, and I could still feel, sometimes I'd feel it enter and come in my life. And it would come as like, um, it'd be a very visceral reaction. Like I'd start being afraid for no reason. Um, so that morning I was walking to work and all of a sudden I started feeling fearful. Um, and it just came out of nowhere. I was just walking to work and I started feeling fearful. I started feeling a darkness around me. And um, I turned, I, st- I ended up listening. I started listening to worship music to kind of calm me down and to um, make me feel at ease because I could feel it um, around me, the darkness. It, like, it's a, it was like pressing upon me. Um, and uh, on my way to work, I live near the river and my work is on the other side of the river. Um, and as when I started to feel the darkness, I prayed instantly in that moment. I asked Tatan Zambi, Tatan Zambi, protect me. 
give charge to Makaya and the angels to surround me. And I had a very quick vision. Like in that moment, I had a very quick vision. And and it was so quick that I sometimes I think that I imagine it because it was so quick. And in that vision, I basically saw all across the river, along the river on both sides. It was like these big figures, like warriors, standing in formation on both sides of the river. And, <laughs> and, and, and immediately I felt peace. Because like the night before when I felt the darkness around me, I was with my housemate who has, yeah, it, it was something involved with her. But she, when, when I felt the darkness around me, she told me that she, sens she senses it here, that there is a darkness in our house. Um, but as soon as I had that vision, the first word that popped into my head was, they're here. And then I felt peace. It was like I knew Tatan Zambi. He sent them. I knew they were around me. And it, it was like, go as soon as I felt that, I felt the peace. I felt the calm. And I just knew that I was protected, that I, that there was nothing that could harm me. And I had like the best day at work ever. And even from that moment, it's like, Tatan Zambi has given me so much strength and just faith. Even just in in knowing uh, who he is in my life, um, mm -hmm. it was like a kick to me. For me, it was I. There, there have been in the past few months. It was just it felt like such a dry, a dry desert for me. I just didn't really feel motivated. But in that moment, just. Uh, uh, the experience was just of Tatan Zambi present in my life and like just knowing that he answers so quickly and that we aren't alone when we think we are. Um, and I just had to give praise in that moment and I had to greet the Malakis. I was like, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Tatan Zambi, for sending them. Thank you for comforting me. Um, when I thought I was alone, I he made sure that I knew straight away that I wasn't. And even in that moment, I doubted uh, when I had the vision, because I don't really have visions. I, I doubted that it was just my imagination trying to trick me to being to feeling comf comforted. But mm -hmm. in that doubt, like it's it's in that doubt that like I would fear again. So I made myself believe that yes, that is the Tanzambi. I know you made me see that. So it was just that, like, removing the doubt, removing the negative thoughts that would try to replace. Yeah, just the, the feeling that I knew that it was from the Most High. So, um, yeah, I, I just wanted to share that because, yeah, it was, it was an, it was so powerful. And, um, yeah, Tatan Zambi is, is so good and he answers prayers quickly and, yeah, all praises and get there. Campbell, Campbell. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yalla. Yalla. Wow. Yalla. Yalla. <laughs> another, another confirmation, another testimony, very powerful. I'm glad, I'm glad, because I... Uh, I'm sure you've been waiting for this moment, confirmation that <laughs> they listen to you, right? So there is the confirmation, a very big confirmation. Zambi is very close to us, very close. But sometimes this is important also for us to see, due to the pressure of life, you know, due to the attacks, for us to see that Zambi is with us. He is very close to us. You know, the book of... Uh, uh, Roman, is it Roman? Yeah, no, Hebrew. The way he speaks the, about the, the, the angels, they are obedient spirit, you know, who are under our servitude. That is true. That was another evidence. 
and I like what you said. You you you're praying, asking to the Zambi to give order to the angels to come and protect you. That is the message we got recently, also. You know, whenever we pray, let's pray with this confident, this this trust within our heart. That the Nzambi that they serve is a living Nzambi. I am a children of Nzambi and Poo. They listen to me. And I'm sure whenever I pray and I call up on the mercy, the angels, to come and protect me, keep me safe, they will. This is called faith. And when you pray with that, you answer the prayer quickly. Very, very quick. Very quick. So, Matur Masaka is the same. And that's a lesson for all of us. For us to continue. That's why we fear nothing, you know. We fear nothing. No Kadyabemba, nothing. No demon, no demon, nothing. Though they seem like they are powerful, but we fear nothing. When, when they come to attack, we got mad, okay? Like, okay, come, let's, let's fight, you know? <laughs> And they're the one who fight. They're the one who run away. Yes. Instead of we say, oh, no. Okay. Oh, you want, you want to attack me? Okay, come. Let's fight. Uh-huh. Come. <laughs> <laughs> and they run away. That is the confidence that we want from us. So family, we'll finish our prayer, our less our uh, class for today. Uh, unless there is something from you. But uh, I want to say, Sister, Sister Elba, Luciemi, Sister Elba, she was in the land. She is back to UK. She left. But she was crying a lot. She didn't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Sister Diana? I'm well, thank you. I'm are you back now? It seemed like it was a dream to have you around, right? <laughs> it seemed like yeah. it was a dream. Even I look at my mama, it's like you are still in US, you know? Yeah. Only when I see you face to face, that's why I like to shake it to the you know? And hug him, you know, to feel him. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Matano Masaka, dear family. Yes, it was a pleasure to see you once again. We love you all. So keep strong. I keep trusting that the Zambi. And uh, pray. Have faith, be patient, and continue to glorify the Zambi. Mm. So we will pray. Um, <clears throat> the other time, you can lead us in the final prayer for us to, to say bye bye. Oh, but before, can we thanks first? Uh, yes. Anybody to thanks? Sister Kese, can you please thank our, our class for today? Thanks, Father. I'm Moana. I'm Moana. Moana Get a motor massacre, sister. Yes, we are. Mm-hmm. Yes. And Zami Amazodo. Tell him, season is on Zami and Poo to know the ancient of days, the holy one of his solide. The Tanzami of Simon Kimbango. The Tanzami of Simon Toko. The Tanzami of Kimpa Vita. Tanzami of our forefathers. I give you all the praise, I give you all the honor. You are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Father, for your mercy. Thank you, Father, for your grace. Thank you, Father, for keeping us. Thank you, Father, for loving us. Thank you, Father, for being with us. Thank you, Father, for shielding protection. Thank you, Father, for doors of opportunities. Have mercy on us. Tatanzami Amazulu, have mercy on us. We were born in sin, the Most High. 
Wash us clean, wash us clean. Wash us with his soaps and make us clean again. Guide us. Whatever we do, guide us. Give us dreams and visions. Help us to do your will. Order our steps. Let your will be done in our lives. Let your will be done in our jobs. Let your will be done in our businesses. Let your will be done in our families. Let your will be done on our projects. Whatever we do, let us worship and ask you to order us. As we heard the teaching for today, help us to understand, absorb, ponder, and apply the name of Tadanzami. We pray in your name. Christ, my Namoya, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Yesaya Kum, we are redeemed in Geta. Geta. Sedi etu kukuzulu, yambu la zinadia kuziti sangwa, e kintinu kia kukiza, olu zululu akula vanga maumva sine kukuzulu, Watu vanadia kwetu kelumbu kelumbu. Watu loloka masumu meto. Endo loka loloka ngatatu zeto. Utu fidiko kubuna mpuku mune. Watu vulu zamu na mbi. Kadikia kuya kintinu. Yengolo. Yonkembo. Aumvu ya mvu. Bika mbasi za dizulu. Bika mbasi za dizulu. Bika mpeve za kiese. Beza kutuika mapasi vutu ya tukonda kwa wonga. Nsambu, yelu vuvamu, muna kumba seye mwana ye mwana vila. Mene. 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 Mene gata. Mene gata. Mituarika ntime miyato. Family, we love you. Stay blessed. And we'll see you next time. We increase family. Okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>